What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lead 2. Today we don't backtrack because we want to continue exploring the rest of the Chimera Research Lab. So, at this point we have a fairly straightforward pathway. Not a whole lot of other ways to go. So we should take the way that we do have. And these are all guys that we've seen before. And you know what? I I just can't resist. They're they're all nice and grouped up. I just have to hit them with a nice big area attack. Let's just go with Thunderstorm this time, just because I've been using Explosion pretty much exclusively for Gogan so far. I would like to limit how much I use Gogen, since he's such a high level. I want experience for everyone else, but it's hard to resist hitting six enemies with one spell. That, and I guess it does save on time as well. If I can, I would like to finish this dungeon today, so... Spending all of my time on killing random... Well, not random, but pointless battles is not the best way to go about doing that. Stab you in the back. I suppose that's a pretty legitimate place to stab people. I mean, normally I say, you know, stab you in the face, but... The back is a legitimate place to stab people. Well, that was easy. So now we have a whole ton of switches, and this the way these ones work is a little bit less obvious than the last set. If you recall the last set of switches, it was just divided into threes, and it was just kind of, hey, if all of them are set to the right switch of the three, then it opens the right door. This one is looking for more specific combinations. So, I guess you would just have to uh, go by, like, experimentation, but... Hmm. Okay, so... It looks like you can only ever have three switches that are, or you always have to have three switches that are in the down position. So that's how this works. So anyways, go with this switch, and then this switch, and then this switch. I think that's right. Uh, then I believe that should lead me to... Right, okay. Yeah. That leads me to this chest, which contains Raelia's Mirror, which is an accessory from the first Ark the Lad game. Uh... It works differently in this game. Uh, I'm gonna put on Lisa just because 11 defense is a lot, and having... Defense against all those stats is nifty. Uh, although it just increases or decreases your chance you'll be affected by those stats. It doesn't mean you're protected from them straight up. So keep that in mind. Um, previously it was an accessory for Kukuru only. Uh, I believe this time around it's for uh, Lisa only. Um, so anyways. If we go with like that... And then, like that, then like that, that opens up the middle bridge, but that just leaves, leads you, I believe it leads you to a battle, or something like that. So we don't actually want to go down that path. And finally, if we go like that, that should lead us to the path forward. Indeed it does. I just want to point out with these switches, um, even though it doesn't look like they're grouped up into groups of three, uh, probably the e it's easiest to think of them as groups of three anyways. There are nine switches, so you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
and you can only you have to have three switches that are down. So for all, all of the combinations that are required, it's always one in each set of three is the switch you want to have down. So in this case, it's the middle one. In this case, it's the one on the left. And in this case, it's the one on the left. That's just probably the easiest way to think about it. So anyways, if we head on forward... And here I thought we were in the laboratory all along. What an honor. I'm not sure why this dragon is like telling us this, but whatever. That's a lot of enemies. Indeed. Uh, we kind of knew that already. Huh? Why are you here? Oh, well, I guess that's actually helpful. I'm sorry, but I just can't take anything serious coming from this dragon. Okay, here we go. So now we are forced to use Lisa and Goga. So let's get this party started. Uh, yeah, that's not going to hit more than one person. Uh, there are a lot of enemies here, so I think I am going to go with using uh, Gogan. Although apparently I can't actually reach anything yet, so I guess that makes life easier. Anyone else need healing? Lisa needs a bit of a heal. Might as well heal Kellak up at the same time. Uh, let's go with the speed up. I guess I might as well do it on Pondit. I'm not sure how useful that'll be, but it's certainly going to be better than nothing. And... Did not level 2 strike power? Aha! Get ourselves some buff going on. And last but not least, let us have our Barbarian Charge. He should have a nice beefy attack power now. Between Strike Power and Charge. How dare you spin at me! Oh, they're nice and lined up. Really? You're still not positioned in a place where I can hit both of you? Once again, I would prefer to have Gogan just do like Dream Knock or something, but I don't want this fight to take forever, so I'm gonna have him do at least a little bit of work. Now, how should I do this? I would like to use Cold Breath from over here, but like, if he was one square higher. What I think I'm going to do instead is just go with a uh, level 2 Cold Breath. That was actually terrible. And let's go with an Earthquake. I don't think Lisa does a whole lot of damage with her magic, but when you can hit three enemies like that, then it at least works out semi-well. Uh, I don't really have anything I want Kellak to do. Eighty-five damage. Not too shabby. Man, I'm getting really unlucky with unlucky, unlucky with blocks recently. It's kind of unfortunate. Smack you in the face! Might as well hit you with the diamond dust. I don't know if these guys are even weak against ice. It just seems like the attack I want to use on them. And it seems to work. 
and that's good enough for me. So how much health does this guy have? Zero, that's how much. And I might as well shoot some daggers at this dragon. I also might as well heal up uh, the barbarian. I should have named this barbarian like Bob or Dave or something. I don't know why, it just seems like the appropriate name to give him. It would be humorous. Throw all the daggers! Gogan could use some healing. Not that it's likely to make much difference at this point, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I can probably hit this guy with cold breath. Some damage is always better than no damage. And down he goes. Well, that wasn't very hard. So, uh, happy reunion time? Go. Yay, teleport! You're the one who got captured. Usually it's the matter of the kid, like, mindlessly bleh, mindlessly throws himself into danger and then we have to rescue him from something. But this time around he was legitimately helpful. So, I guess it worked out okay. Yeah, we kind of knew that. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Oh. That's interesting. Um, don't think it's something I'm really going to end up using at all, but it's interesting. I want to kill more Chimera dudes. Oh, really? Hmm. I thought Elk was unconscious. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to find out what this is all about next time on Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Catch you later.